And it's finally time for the redemption for any team who did not fare well in the first round of 64 racers. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan, and it is nice to have some familiar names back. Every team had submitted two cars, and of course that means if your first one flopped, your second one is a chance to get out there and race fast. So we'll see how it goes. I'm not completely in the memory on which teams did well and not, so I forgive me if I forget, but it is uh, time to redeem. The back half of this group stage tournament, 9 to 16, day 9 to 16, will feature every team once again with their second racer. Duke Ettinger, Diddy Kong Pipe Frame, pretty good choice. Dry Bones and the Beat Asher belonging to Aaron Brown. EP Racing, uh, Baby, I think that's Baby Luigi. He's got his hat painted all black, so it's hard to really tell. In the B Dasher and Vapor Racing, we have a Koopa. Oh, here comes. B Dasher Luigi, he'll cross. That might be Mario. It's really hard to tell with the black hat. See the distinguishing feature. We have Koopa Troopa there by Vapor Racing. I, I'm trying to see what model that is as well. Diddy Kong will cross backwards, but at least start okay. 20.8 on the times. Remember, our record is 18.7663. I remember down to the fourth decimal. And that is the number that we would love to see beat at some point. It's hard to imagine that being bested, though, well, we'll hold out for it. What was this here? That is, might be a model I haven't seen before. I believe that is Baby Luigi. I'm going to say Baby Luigi for EP Racing. It kind of has more of a Luigi face shape, if you ask me, so that's what I'm going to go with. Though, again, his hat is shrouded in darkness. I, I, it's, I, I remember vaguely, maybe... Is that a Mach 8? Is that a, just a painted Mach 8 for Koopa Troopa? I can't tell. It, it's just very hard to tell, but I think that's what we're going to go with. But it looks like Baby Luigi taking over right now in that black B Dasher, whipping around that outside line nice and fast. He might struggle here, though, where he narrows in the inside line. And, yeah, he'll slow down a little bit, but he has a lot of room to run here. Already starting with five points. A lot of leeway. Rounds his hairpin straight towards the finish. Dry Bones trying to keep his head in the game, but Luigi is fast, and he's down to 20 flat. Anytime I see a 20 flat or below, I start to get a little excited, i got to be honest. Because you never know. You never know when something crazy is going to happen here time-wise. If he... I, I'm trying to imagine a situation where he goes sub-20, but it's hard. He seems like he's at his a peak speed. But we'll see. Some people have been wondering about the validity of having a riderless cart in the races. I applaud the creativity of the people who submitted them. It was technically not against the rules. Maybe it's something we consider in the future. Tactically, no rule against it. Can't go back on it now. Gonna have to let it be, and blessed be those creative people who thought to enter cars like that. Beat Asher Luigi off to a big lead already. Dry Bones trying to grind his way back in. It might be a weight problem that's weighing down that Beat Asher, making it harder to go up against Baby Luigi. Maybe that all black paint is also streamlining that car somehow. I don't know. It's just way different in speed. Luigi on the far line here is going to whip around. And, oh, loses speed on the straight. Here comes Dry Bones with a chance to take five. And he will bounce through into the fat track section. Round the hairpin he goes. He's out in the middle. Goes left, maybe back right to block, but no need. And that's 21. Not super fast, but still exciting. And uh, maybe Luigi will lose an opportunity for any... Well, brings up another point that I saw in the comments, but I call it a partial sweep, individual sweep. We have saw some... Uh, I saw a good comment discussing that. They'd rather I called it a complete sweep instead of an individual sweep. I think the reasoning behind individual sweep, I mean, there's some lore here for any races and fun lore keepers. It was first that a sweep would happen, and based on the previous races and fun structuring of videos, a sweep would happen when one full team would 1v1 another full team and all the different cars in it. 
and that one full team with all the different varied cars would win every race against the other full team. That would be called a team sweep because one team, even though it was only individual races with individual vehicles, they would as a whole, as a team, beat the other team. Here comes Baby Luigi streaking towards another five here. And so it would be a team sweep. So when we switched over and we started having races, well, you'd only have one car doing many heats. There's a 20.2, not bad. I wanted to differentiate between that team sweep where you have one team as a whole doing it to an individual who was just winning all their races by themselves. And that's where individual sweep came. I think complete sweep is also a nice term. I, I thank you for that commenter. Always love to hear thoughts about the races below. But I, I think that individual sweep makes that differentiation. Maybe I'll play around with the terms partial sweep. It looks like partial sweep and final sweep are holding a similar meaning, though I like how I've been using them. Partial sweep, of course, being when you, uh, in a group stage, sweep the first half, sweep that group heat before the finals. And final sweep is, you know, you can race a maximum of eight races per uh, day when you win all eight of those. That final sweep is when you win the back four in the finals. Again, partial being when you win that front four in the, the less stressful group stage races. Luigi moves on. I know a lot there, but I felt like discussing that. You, some of you guys have been talking about it. Here comes Shy Guy in a circuit special. I gotta say, he seemed pretty fast right there. We have Yoshi playing in there. This could be a big time. Ooh, 20 flat already. That was nice. Diddy Kong pipe frame seems to be a combo that's been lacking. And we have an, a lost vehicle. Looks like a Yoshi. I, I, I can't tell the car. We're going to have to get a look in on... He, he fell off there. It looks like it might be a Mach 8. We'll see. No, that's Mario. That's Mario. That's a pipe frame Mario. Fall off the race, yes, because we have the Shy Guy coming in, we have the Yoshi in that Mach 8 coming in, and then we have Diddy Kong in that pipe frame. That's how it was ordered this time. Let's focus back in on our second group here. Mario in the pipe frame, dynamic duo submitting. TLLD Racing, number 8 with Diddy Kong in the pipe frame. We have Yoshi, Mach 8, Ray, uh, Low Shi. And Razor Crust with Shy Guy in the circuit special. So, a good stratification of models and cars and characters there. It's nice to see. Some of them painted up quite nicely. So, it's good to see that differentiation as well. How about Shy Guy? He was fast in the first race. He seems to not let up on the speed this time. I'm honestly impressed. He has a chance to go sub 20 here. And same with Yoshi in the Mach 8, who's keeping up with him. This could be a close one in the back straight. Who's going to make a mistake first? Shy Guy, circuit special, breaks away, starts to bounce a little bit. So, all those back wheels come up. He whips around the hairpin. He's got room to run. Yoshi trying to keep up, but can't. This could be a record, and it's definitely not. Something about him, though, seems a lot faster than, than he appears. I thought that was going to be in the 19s, which, again, wouldn't have been a record, but I was kind of getting ahead of myself. 20.2. I mean, these are good times. Anything around 20 is solid. You, you want to stay away from 20.5 and above. But we have a... He's working on that partial sweep there. Razor Crust. And so we'll just have to hang in there and see if he can manage it. Shy Guy, again, breaking away from the pack. Inside lines seem to be good for that circled special because he can, the shorter vehicle, he can whip through the inside nice and quick. This could be a big run for him right here. Inside line once again, stays tight in the line. That's going to be good, but we have the Mach 8 rolling, and circuit special has to lose that speed as he goes away on this one. Time for the Mach 8 to play. Here he goes. This is how it happened last time. This is how our uh, 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 baby Luigi lost that uh, sweep opportunity, but Yoshi loses control. He went sideways, and the circuit specials got it back. 20.9. Struggled on that last turn outside. But good enough to win. And that's the kind of stuff you have to watch out for. Sometimes the best time is great, but if, if you can't hold on to your control through the larger section where your car is has 360-degree motion, I mean, it's just going to fall apart. 
I mean, you, you see it, a, a prime example there. Yoshi, obviously the faster racer that time, obviously way out in front in the single lane section, and just could not control his car into the hairpin, and it might as well have been that he was slower from the beginning. And we have Shy Guy there. He's got three fives of his name working on that partial sweep. And he's out by a few lengths here, and he's trying to run it on the third line there. Maybe some speed to gain. He's going to run towards that hairpin. He has a, a wide lead to work with here. This could be an easy, easy partial sweep, but not if you, he throws around his weight like that. Very scary for a second. I almost thought he was going to lose it. 20.3, and he'll take the partial sweep. It's a good finish. And that's going to leave him to the finals. I think it's going to be exciting between him and uh, Baby Luigi, who was also up down in the 20 flat area. And I, I'm not sure how these teams fared in the first uh, time that they had a car out there, but it seems like it's going quite well for a couple that I don't remember a lot from. <coughs> we have the finals. Baby Luigi the B-Dasher, Shy Guy in the Circuit Special, the two to look out for. I wouldn't say Yoshi in the Mach 8 is out of it yet, neither the Dry Bones, but it's just it's the speed out of the gate has not been good for either of those cars, but right now looking good for Yoshi in the Mach 8. He's pushing on the third lane and starts to build a lead. Now by two lengths, has some time to work with. Shy Guy is going to get an inner line here, so it's going to be about the speed down the third straight. Here comes Shy Guy, Circuit Special, pushing near side, length ahead, and going to build more through the inside line, down to the fat track. He has room to run, bumps in, loses some ground. Yoshi Make looking for a mistake, can't seem to find one, and the, uh, the lead just grows. That's a 19.62. That's a, that's a wonderful time. And that's going to be a good start for Shy Guy. He has potential. I, I want to see a 19 flat. I would like to see that. But I can't imagine that happening necessarily. At this point, it would be a tough time to grab. Because then you got to be out there. He's got to be out another few lengths more than usual when he's just getting to the fat track section. I mean, imagine that. I mean, we're talking 10, 20 lengths out in front of this whole pack we see here just to maybe grind that time down to 19. Not as easy as it seems. Yoshi in the Mach 8. Also looking to maybe do something about getting five again. Obviously with Shy Guy in the Circuit Special having five wins in a row, that individual sweep or complete sweep is a possibility. Yoshi Namake making his push once again for the win. Shy Guy had to go to that outside fourth line again, so you saw it be a struggle for him. Runs into Yoshi. He's going to lose ground, give the momentum away, and the Namake will end the sweep. 20.9. And that's not a great time, but it's good enough to end the sweep. Puts five on the board. And that's going to really stir things up here in the finals. And he almost, he almost muffed it again. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, down into the fat track section, just a loss of control. I think it has to do with the length of the car. Not an easy car to control. And Shy Guy, if he didn't... Ru just run straight into the Mach 8. He would have had an opportunity to make some moves. Just like that other time where he found that lane after the mistake was made. It's going to be 3-5-5-3 tied between the two. I haven't seen anything from EP Racing and the Black B-Dasher yet. So we'll see if he can climb his way back in. Maybe this will be a time. He has an inside line. He grabs a lead by a nose and he loses it. Here comes Shy Guy down the third lane. He's going to grab it by a couple lengths. Still time to race though. Round the hairpin and all the speed is gone. He's stuck. And that's going to be it. 20.1. He's going to get pushed across there. So still three points. And well, kind of a disappointing finish. Anticlimactic for EP Racing. Drybone just kind of sits there as well. So we always had a potential th two or three DNFs in that race. That would have been something, a good way for Shy Guy to solidify a win. But it's looking good for him right now. Here we go.
Razor Crust. Points look good. 13 to his name. Most points, of course, advancing. 5 3 5 13. 10, and, uh, 10 points there for Lo Shi. I think everybody else is out of it, though. I mean, 2 2 and 3, that's going to be 7. And so I'm not really sure about the outcome for that. Not good. Um, cannot catch up. I don't think can catch up there. We needed six points, so it's impossible. Looks like it's only Lo Shi and Razor Crust still in. Here we go. Yoshi, down three points, needs to beat out Shy Guy and try to leave him behind second place there. That would be the goal, but right now the opposite is happening. Shy Guy runs into the back section, round the hairpin. Big lead for him right now, and he's going to run it to the finish. That's another five points and almost had the sweep. One away, big time, 19-8, and he'll be going to the finals. I think that's very obvious. And that said... A tough way to end for Lo Shi, who had the skills and the capability, but not the speed early on. There's the winner, 18 points, Razor Crust. Well done. And she'll be advancing with the rest of the H that we see here. Now we have two pages of advancing, seven more days to go until the finals. Keep with us, and we'll see you next time on Races and Fun. But we got that Slanman Customs uh starting gate and uh timer at the end which has been just wonderful a new model from them and so you get a look at it here and how it all works and it is beautiful and it is new and it is more accurate four decimal places at the end of our timer and so really just a, a product worth buying if you are a hot wheels fanatic and if you want precision timing and just something that looks nice and adds to the whole feature of the track setup. You can go to their Facebook, Instagram, and their Etsy. That's where you're going to buy and speak to them and connect with them. I recommend it. Links are in the description if you are looking for them. And, uh, well, it's your very own Races and Fun sponsored products today. SlamManCustomsAgain.com, www. They have their own website. And again, their Facebook. I'm excited to see who we got racing today and what kind of vehicles we have to see. We know every model that's chosen with every uh, other possible character has different uh, strengths and weaknesses. So we're going to get a chance to look at that here in a moment and get racing. Uh, I can't emphasize enough how awesome Slamman Customs is, and that's what we're doing right here. A lot of products up there. You see uh, the track clamp, banked curves. I mean, they really got some good stuff there for racing.